Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Welcome to Caring Medical Florida. Thank you so much for watching. This was actually a gift to me by a friend, uh, Travis Mitchell. Uh, he built this for me because I would often in, in the office explain that we've all had an experience with kitchen cabinet doors being loose, like we would open the door and we could feel the jingle. Much like people with joint instability, they can move their shoulder or their knee and they feel cracking, clicking, and popping. So I was trying to think about what would be a way to explain in a very easy to understand way the progressive nature of joint instability. So came up with the loose hinge analogy. And what it is is this, this side of it, all the screws are very, very tight. So when you open and close this door, it's never going to hit the other door because the screws on the hinge are tight. Then this one, the screw is loose, but the other screws are tight and all the hinges are tight. So this door never hits that door. But we all know that if this screw is loose and you keep opening and closing this door, it's going to be a progressive disorder. Once this hinge is loose, the forces are going to go to this hinge, then to this hinge, and then eventually this door is going to hit this door. So if we see over here, all the screws are now loose. Like there was one screw loose, now there's three screws loose. And you can start to see where now the door is going to sublux. So the question is, what should we do? Once this door starts hitting this other door, it's going to scrape away the paint there. Should we get a paintbrush and just paint the door here? Is that going to cure the problem? In medicine, when you start having arthritis in a joint, like the joint is progressively getting more and more worn out. The ligament is injured, then the meniscus gets injured, then the cartilage starts to wear out. Like what's going to be the curative treatment? In the analogy here, the ligaments are actually the screws. The ligaments hold the hinge in place and the hinge is the joint. So the first problem when the joint starts to break down is actually the screw is loose or the ligament is injured and it's not holding the bones in place. Once the bones move in a destructive manner, the pressure on the cartilage, on the meniscus goes way up. And of course, what happens is the meniscal cells die and we call that meniscal degeneration. Once enough cells die, then the meniscus gets so weak that it basically tears and you get a meniscal tear. And then eventually the pressure goes onto the cartilage, then the cartilage cells die. And once the cartilage cells die, you start getting a thinning of the cartilage and then the body to stabilize the joint will overgrow the bone. So we would all agree that in this analogy, if you have loose screws, don't, uh, don't just paint the paint, you have to tighten the screws. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna get rid of that. Now, let's say this, you know, again, it starts hitting, hitting, hitting. You wouldn't say, oh, you need, a, you need a new door. You need a joint replacement, you need a new door. We'd say, no, all you have to do is if you tighten these screws, this door is gonna move over, then it's not gonna affect the other door. So nah, this is a bad idea. Okay, then, if this is hitting, if this is hitting, these two are hitting, you would say like, it doesn't make sense, like let's sandpaper it because the problem still arises. So in other words, they used to do what? Clean out procedures, clean out procedures of the knee when you had a lot of pain and arthritis. They don't do that anymore because it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because the joint was still loose. So they still had pain, still had problems. So the sandpaper, bad idea, okay. Then what about, what if we take some other instruments? So, okay, so we'll take some other instruments. You could get a hyaluronic acid shot. You could get a steroid shot. You could get other shots into the knee, into the substance of the knee, but that's not gonna tighten the screw. It's not gonna tighten the ligaments. Treatment for loose screws is gonna be a Phillips screwdriver. It's gonna be a Phillips screwdriver. In the human body, when you have an incompetent ligament, where the ligament is damaged, the ligament is injured, the only treatment that's been shown long-term to tighten and repair that ligament is prolotherapy. So prolotherapy injections to the injured ligaments 
tightens the screws, then the hinge is stable, then the forces on the meniscus, on the joint get back to normal. And of course, the pain, the swelling, the discomfort, and then the strength, of course, comes back to the knee, and then the person can do what? They can do squats, they can run, they can have a normal life. Mm -hmm.